You're listening to the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring attorney, guest, and former felony prosecutor, Eric Faddis. Diddy! It, uh, it keeps going, and we keep wondering, when is there going to be an arrest? Will there be an arrest? A grand jury has been seated and has been looking into charges of sex trafficking, a new 10th civil suit filed against him in November, and we've learned that those sex trafficking uh, federal investigations were, in fact, spurred by Cassie Ventura's lawsuit against him earlier. And now he has hired a high-power attorney, something probably a good idea to do if you're Diddy. Joining me to discuss, Eric Faddis, uh, defense attorney and former prosecutor. Yeah, Diddy's uh, deleted a lot of his social media. Not everything. YouTube's is still up there. I saw that yesterday. Uh, but the Instagram and the uh, apology video, all of that gone. Still out there flaunting his wealth, though. Recently uh, dropping some videos of him going on uh, uh, Combs Air, his his jets, and saying no place like home, almost kind of taunting his wealth. What do you think's going on in the mind of Diddy? He's lawyering up, but still, look at me. Oh, dear. You know, um, the, the defense has just a Herculean effort in front of them to defend against, like you said, there are 10 civil lawsuits, that there are um, multiple investigations, multiple raids, a federal grand jury invest, uh, proceedings that are currently going on. And so I, I just bet that the defense side is trying to wrap their head around, how do we sort of tackle this monster of a problem? And, um, and, and there aren't a ton of great answers. How does, I mean, we're just talking about perception here on this. It's not necessarily I'm asking about, you know, how is this going to work with the jury yet? But he's hired uh, a very high-powered attorney, Mark uh, Agnifilo, uh, who also represented some not-so-likable characters and characters who have gone to prison for quite some time. You got Pharma Bro, Martin Scarelli. He's the one who raised the price of uh, some drugs to ridiculous levels, making them unable to be attained by some people who actually needed them, like thousands and thousands of people throughout the country. He ended up going to prison for quite some time. I believe he's out. He's also the one who uh, who had the, uh, the Wu-Tang Clan CD uh, that they only had the yeah. one copy of, which is crazy. I actually know the person who bought it. For, I know the person who bought it from the government, <laughs> actually. Oh, nice. uh, so it's still out there somewhere. But... Let's have a listening party later. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'd be very <laughs> interested to hear it. Uh, and a former Goldman Sachs banker, uh, Roger Digg, and Nexium cult leader, Keith Ranieri. Ranieri's in prison for the rest of his life. These are not good people. And you're I, hiring him. I get it. You want a good defense attorney, someone who can really do their job. That's what it, the job is all about. But what about the perception here that you're hiring the guy that's, you know, represented some really horrible human beings? Yeah, no, I hear you. And, and But, you know, in a way, that, that's kind of the nature of the beast in terms of criminal defense. Yeah. Uh, you know, these folks are by the, uh, by the Constitution entitled to, to a defense in the case. And, um, you know, you look at uh, former uh, Clarence Darrow, you look at like these storied um, uh, Cone, I forget his first name, but um, in the 70s represented a lot of mafioso folks. Uh -huh. um, that just kind of comes with the territory. And so I understand the optics of it, but um, that's part of the game, man. But it's opinion. not success with a lot of these cases that he's had. It's not like, and we won <laughs> and, and nothing <laughs> right. happened to the clients. I Like if you're hiring someone who's gotten people off that clearly looked guilty, sure. But it, yeah. it, I mean, I'm almost kind of wondering too, is it slim pickings? Do you think it's slim pickings for Diddy? Or do you think there's a lot of people who would line up and gladly represent him? You know, it's it's, it's a great question. I think of um, Kaylee Anthony's attorney, mm -hmm. our, uh, Casey, Casey Anthony. Casey uh, Anthony, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, you know, who, who prevailed. And, and, and he became very successful and got a lot of great cases after mm -hmm. that. Uh, including representing folks who are unpopular or, yeah. or who uh, the, the, the public might be viewing with some condemnation. Um, and so, yeah, I'm wondering, I, I still think there are a lot of attorneys who would gladly take the case despite a, a possible negative connotation. I just wondering, like, how do you fight this? Uh, one of the statements that he made says, I think the Southern District is uh, appropriately taking its time and considering many different factors, uh, but we are firmly convinced that he did not violate any federal laws, and we hope we can work with prosecutors in reaching that conclusion. Uh, really trying to get this thing, you know, settled out of court or not even getting to court. Uh, he does not believe anything is imminent in terms of an arrest. You know, take that for what it's worth. 
uh, with that uh, federal criminal investigation out of New York that's uh, that's going on. Obviously, he's going to say what he needs to. It's his client. Um, but it, we have the video. We have these accusations that all line up case after case after case. And, and, and I'm willing to believe that some of these lawsuits of the 10 that we know of right now, some of them are bunk and there, there's not a lot to them. It, it, you do have that in things like this. But that damn video, I mean, that is, that's damning. And God knows what else uh, the FBI has or Homeland Security has uh, from the, the videos in his house that none of us have, have ever seen yet. That's a hard one to take on, I would think. I hear you. And, but, you know, every case has good facts and bad facts. Sure. And I would expect the defense, and this is not my opinion, but but I expect the defense would be uh, beginning to build a narrative about you got this rich, successful guy. Uh, he's got a ton of money and a ton of power. And, and people um, want to take him down a peg. People want to try to siphon money from him in whatever way they can, including the justice system. Um, and, and and that um, is an avenue that we've seen before with with, uh, with similar prominent defendants. And I imagine his defense is looking into that, uh, looking into the backgrounds of the accusers, trying to sort of assassinate their character along the way. And so I imagine that is, is defense's approach. What does it uh, say about all this, though, the fact that really we really don't hear many high profile individuals getting behind Diddy? Uh, there, I, I, there's more for R. Kelly, honestly, I think, that we're vocally supporting R. Kelly than Diddy uh, at this juncture. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was a popular guy, had the white parties. There's, there's accusations of issues with that now that are coming out in lawsuits where he had women that were dressed in, in black specifically, and they could only drink from these bottles over here, which supposedly were laced with ecstasy. And uh, the black kind of marked them at the white parties to know that these are sex workers. Um, there's got one person accusing of that. There's more people out there that have yet to come talk. I'm thinking you start, uh, adding some of that up and you say, Oh, okay. This actually is somewhat factually accurate. Um, it's not looking good. It, 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 it's looking like the, this narrative is just going to keep getting darker and darker for him. Yeah, when you're less popular than R. Kelly, you know you have a real problem uh, because he is almost universally hated. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, it's, it's a good point that you would expect some of his affiliates, some of his um, prior, you know, uh, artists with whom he's had associations and has done projects and that kind of thing coming out and, and saying, hey, you know, I, I can't speak on the allegations, but I know Diddy as a person. And to me, he's been upstanding and fair and, and compassionate or whatever. You'd expect some of that. We're not seeing it. No. Uh, and I think it's it's mostly people are just afraid of, of the backlash they might receive from that. But you expect some of it. If you truly think, if you truly believe that this person has nothing on them and, and you're close to them and they, and he made your career because he has for, for so many people, yep. you have like Mary J you got Mace, you got a whole, you know, just the whole bad boy family as it was back in the day. Uh, none of them, none of them getting behind him. In fact, some of them speaking out against him, Mary J making some cryptic comments. I know Mace has been on some things kind of like, well, it's going to catch up to you, buddy. Uh, and yeah, I, there's there there seems to be a lot of knowledge from a lot of people that I'm I'm gonna guess are gonna get subpoenaed at some time to uh, to testify uh, to that grand jury of what they know. Oh, totally, and and I mean you um you know, you even see like alleged serial killers and stuff, and, and people at least coming to their defense and saying, yeah. hey, you know, at least I know him aside from these allegations, yeah, and he's legit. We're just not seeing that, and and he and and you know it leads me to believe that there are just rumors and speculations and insinuations within the industry, and I'm told that 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 there's sort of this inside knowledge of everyone had some raised eyebrows in terms of of not everyone, but a lot of folks had raised eyebrows in terms of uh, what Diddy was doing. And um, now the public might learn what that is. Yeah, obviously it's not the, to the public to decide, but the jury does come from the public. And uh, right now that's the case. He's got a battle uh, and it's not looking all that good uh, at this moment. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.